Hello and welcome back everyone to another Sodman React video. This one is the top 10 worst YouTube scandals ever. So it's gonna be a little ooh kind of video. So with that being said, let's get into this video right now. How many times did I say video in this intro? I don't know. Hello and welcome back Hi. to more Sodman React. It's myself, uh, Toby, and your boy Vic Star123 in his office. And today we react to the top 10 I'm not worst. In my office. Yeah, well, you are. Well, now you are. <laughs> it's okay, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the top 10 worst YouTube scandals ever. We are the most scandalous side men, so oh. who better? Who better to have it? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I like the Honestly, office. I actually think we are statistically the least scandalous. Side men, like yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Currently. So we're here to judge. We're here to judge. <laughs> we've also been. Oh right. no, we've not been around the longest. Almost the longest, like. Uh, no, no. Can... Actually, we. Was no, you around before JJ? Might... Vic. Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. I was doing music things. Toby was, um, Toby, Toby was like by my side in those times when I was dying. So we used to we we used to be used playing to Modern Warfare Two together. So we're, we're we're the OGs. Someone hit the play button for me. DJ, spin that shit. Jeez. Going viral isn't all it's cracked up to be. Welcome to oh. WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for beautiful. the top 10 YouTube scandals. Hey, so before scan. we begin, Ray? we publish a new video. Ray? 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 So what are you doing here? Ray? 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 We're taking a look at... Oh, oh, oh I forgot about that. that! Whether it's copyright infringement or unethical prank videos, they're oh, all... Oh, I, can, I remember all Sam of Pepper. these, I think. I have Number 10, these prank videos. YouTube heroes oh. and subscriber bug. I don't know 2016 will go down as a write-off for just a about everybody, especially YouTube. Throughout the year, many YouTubers saw a hefty oh, yeah. dip in their subscribers and were understandably a bit miffed. In response to the outcry, YouTube kind of admitted they didn't know what was happening, later saying it was a bug. What is happening, YouTube? I need oh, answers. No, <laughs> to add fuel it's to the bug. rage fire, YouTube then came out with YouTube Heroes in September 2016. That? I don't remember that. A program that would allow users to flag videos, report users, oh, and God, assist yeah. in closed this captioning. Was an owl. Basically, they wanted people to work for YouTube for free. In a yeah, sad twist of irony, this. the community backlash was so brutal that YouTube disabled the comment section like, yeah. on the video. Oh, that's oh, right! So they like, number nine, the program, Hossein Sadeh yeah, yeah. 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 You may know these parties better as YouTube personalities Bold Guy and H3H3 Productions. For those unfamiliar with the works happen. of Ethan and Ela Klein, their two channels, H3H3 and right. Ethan and Ela, he both reacted. comedy skits, reacted reaction, videos. reaction videos, and YouTube criticism. Oh, this when they started, reacted to a video they uploaded won. by oh, Matt Hostel, yeah. yeah, yeah. the channel's owner, Matt Hossein Zadeh, didn't take too kindly to the slamming or their use of his content. You know, when you watch a porn, you endure this shit because you know it's going somewhere. But here, it's like there's yeah. no there's no payoff. His lawyer demanded the video be taken down, right. never spoken what? of again, right. and wanted four thousand dollars in compensation. The lawsuit continued, causing big names like Philip DeFranco and the Fine Brothers to band together to help oh, we'll fund H three H 3s defense in oh the name God, yeah. of fair use. <laughs> what? Number eight. Marina Joyce fake kidnapping. Oh yeah, I remember that. 2016 was weird, bro. Serious scrutiny. In a video about date she outfits, about Marina yeah, Joyce she seemed she to is about, I've not seen her since 2016. Click the link or click this right now if you would like to buy their clothes. Her fans immediately they noticed she wasn't her normal That's energetic style, self, and yeah. some even thought they could see bruises on her body. Many took these as signs Joyce was in danger, with some even speculating she was kidnapped by ISIS. The oh, hashtag shit, yeah. Save Marina shit, Joyce shit. quickly spread online, with fears escalating to the point that authorities visited her home. Oh my In reality, God. the video was just an awkward advertisement, and her bruises a result of a tumble in the woods prior to shooting the video. Whether this was a stunt Joyce pulled, the real she deal, the woods, or just say. a lot of jumping to yeah. conclusions, it's still it's a recreation of someone woods. tumbling down a woods. Number seven. <laughs> Toby Turner's oh rape allegations. Oh. Famous for his literal is trailers about, and Vasquez. humorous music yeah, videos. He got, he, I think he's about about he deleted. Like like Toby he, Turner, yeah, also bad. known as Tobuscus, came under fire I in spring 2016 for accusations of rape and sexual assault from ex-girlfriend and YouTube personality April F. Jeez. Soon after, another of Turner's ex-girlfriends, Amelia Talon, came That's forward saying that That's Turner had bad. pressured her into using drugs and had also abused her. Jacqueline Glenn, another ex, did himself, speak right? out in support of Turner, Allegedly. though she also claimed that she often felt pressured but not forced to do things during their relationship. 
In November, she posted again, saying that Turner was incessantly messaging her and that she just wanted the whole ordeal to stop. <laughs> Number six, Ray William yeah, Johnson you. sued over fair I use. In a similar right. fashion to H3H3 H3 and Matt Haas zone, What's longtime time YouTuber listen? Ray William Johnson went through a couple of legal disputes with Juke and Media. Johnson's videos oh, on Equals 3 them, often feature Fuck commentary you, don't say that, don't say that, because they'll take us in the video. And it was this one that got him in trouble. Allegedly, I hate you. Stop claiming my shit, boy. The Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, and should be deleted. The issue eventually made its way to court, with Johnson arguing that his videos were transformative Is this why and made new then, content maybe? out of the original know, videos. Dive, like, I've written more yeah. jokes about viral videos than it, any man. one human should ever have to write. While the initial judgments yeah, ruled in Johnson's well. favor, I it was resolved in a seemingly positive manner for <laughs> all parties involved. Number 5. Nicole Arbor and Matthew Santoro YouTuber Nicole Arbor is best known for her infamous Dear Fat People video, in which she harshly criticized obese people. Dear Fat People. Ah, so I think this would be a good idea, that video. video. She made no, more no, than a few is. enemies with her comments, How old all is the this while video? gaining a, a lot of publicity. Did you like expect yeah. to offend people? Like five, yeah. six years ago, I think. 100%, 100%. However, she came into the news again for another YouTube-related fiasco. Matthew Santoro, who's best known for his factual list videos, posted a video revealing that he had an emotionally and physically abusive relationship. This person prevented me from leaving their home. I was hit in the face. In a video from January 2016 titled My Abuse Story, he talked about the relationship and the ensuing drama. It wasn't confirmed that he was referring to Arbor until she posted calling him a little bitch and stated oh. that he was using her for attention. She's so snitched. Shit. Number four, drama what? alert yeah, and the RuneScape oh pedophile. Oh my god, this is so sad. No one can stir up the oh, drama quite this is like the wrong star right? of a controversial oh, yeah. drama alert channel. Oh shit. However, sometimes he and the channel jump the gun, and in this case, someone got hurt. Drama Alert found a news story about a gamer named John Phillips using RuneScape to lure young oh. women and singled out Twitch streamer Tony as the pedophile, except he, just he like was not mate. the guy. He was just an Tony old soon received the death out. threats and hateful messages, <laughs> reducing him to tears. YouTuber oh, Scarce me. entered the scene and called out Keemstar's lack of fact-checking, stating that the actual molester was still in prison and that Tony was an innocent man. Keemstar issued an apology video and offered the man money in damages, but many thought sorry wasn't nearly enough. I know the responsible thing is to acknowledge that we got this wrong. Take down the f***ing video. Number 3. CSGO Lotto – Team Art oh, and oh the Syndicate God. Project Techie, In 2013, Counter-Strike oh. Global Offensive easy became skins, more customizable wins. for users, <laughs> giving them the option saying? of <laughs> Soon, the sites popped up giving users, no matter how this. old they were, the yeah. chance to trade and gamble so these coveted you know. items on Counter-Strike yeah, on Steam. YouTuber Honor like, McCall started the surface, noticing that Trevor through, Martin, well. known yeah, as T. Martin, and Tom Cassell of The Syndicate Project both won a lot anyway. of money on CSGOLotto.com, which was used like to win the in-game <laughs> items. Oh my god! He then uncovered that Martin and Cassell were CSGO so Lotto's sketch. president and vice president, respectively which they had not mentioned. Apparently, these two have been allegedly faking gambling and also faking winning. What that. started as a mother suing the game's developer for allowing her young son that to like gamble. Us, that's like so us owning result. EA, right? And opening packs. No, it's worse. Worse by how? It's worse because this is like transactions forward and backwards in a sense between that like- Between people. Yeah, like, like you're kind of like buying like a, uh, you're buying, yeah, between pe peers and it's, that makes it worse. Because if you're buying, like, you're buying a surface, you. yeah, yeah, it's not company to peer. Like, mm. I guess in, like, the EA sense, like, theoretically, they're selling you a product, which is a player. There's a randomness in which player you get. But this was, like, any amount of money you can put it in, and it can go to someone else. And I guess and there's and no it proven it's not fixed and stuff as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, Sam Pepper's killing best friend oh, prank. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Former Big Brother housemate Sam Pepper is now most known for prank videos. Still kind of about, you know, in 2014, is, yeah. one of his videos featured him touching women without can't their consent. Do that. But a year later, sure, he went video, to though, a right? whole new sure level. Sort of the yeah. video depicts Pepper I in disguise, kidnapping online personalities Sam Goldbach and Colby Brock, then forcing Goldbach to Why watch take Brock it that get far? shot. No, this is everything I have. Oh my god. 
Pepper was shocked by oh, the whole response, thing was fake. and Goldbach expressed the video's so. point was about, quote, so. living life to the full. I thought you actually <laughs> died. Dude. When petitions called for Pepper to be banned from YouTube, Burn. he responded Burn. with a GoFundMe page, promising to delete his YouTube account if pledges hit one and a half million dollars. By February 2016, <laughs> Pepper began privatizing his videos and purging his Twitter account before re-emerging as a vlogger. Before we expose our top pick, there are some dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable no way! Are you serious right now? If there was anything he wanted to say or do, I was so f***ing open about everything. What? I don't. I don't. I don't. What? I don't. Number one, the Fine Brothers oh React World. <laughs> uh, yeah! Wait, how appropriate for this channel. Plans in 2016 to license their format oh, to creators and trademark the term React. Uh, We're excited to announce React World. Many saw this as a move to capitalize on what is a very common format, and the Fine Brothers were met with heavy criticism from both viewers and fellow content creators. It's funny in hindsight. YouTubers with reaction videos were slammed with copyright yeah, sorry, rules and requests for compensation. <laughs> And the Fine Brothers suffered a Money loss of around 675,000 subscribers. On oh, February 1st, 2016, Raffi and Benny Fine halted the React World program and decided to face the music. But it's going to be hard to ever forget this bad business move. We were never trying to say that every video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control. Do you agree with our picks? The Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe. Oh, to the oh wait, yeah, Simon reacts. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Simon Simon reacts. Anyone, if you use Simon in your title anywhere on YouTube, shit! Right. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we'll take your money, and it is ours. <laughs> I see you out there. You know, <laughs> it's me. It's literally channel. me. We're taking that down too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Give me Josh's money. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! That's, that's essentially what it says. It basically said they own the. Does reactions and they the format and, and, and the format the yeah of video. reacting to stuff yeah so oh. they would own this channel yeah yeah they yeah. would have yeah. made the channel because they would own it that was their yeah. <laughs> that was their play there they would make React World where you could watch everything just reacting well motherfuckers we're still here so hey. <laughs> hello motherfuckers hello motherfucker <laughs> Jeez. Oh dear. Right. What are the next 10 years to bring us some more scandals? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, comments below. What do you think the next YouTube scandal will be? Let us know. Uh, predictions down below. I'm saying in a weird way. Like, what, what is your favorite YouTube scandal of all time? Like in the comments. Yeah, you haven't got, a, you haven't got uh, an answer. Oh, I thought you were asking me. That's, 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 oh, that's on the spot. <laughs> yeah. but it's a hard one to answer. I don't think, I don't think oh, the right. was on there. I'm trying to think of ones that I think are the funniest or the best ones that I can Wings think. of Redemption versus Syndicate, COD 4 Bog. Is that even a scandal one? though? <laughs> that's just a case of Wings of Talking Online. <laughs> I brought my controller. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some good ones that uh, missed out on that for sure. Definitely. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, now some of those I had heard, most of them I really hadn't. The Marina Joyce one is the one that I really, really remember because that was just everywhere in 2016. Like, holy crap. <laughs> like, oh my God, it was, just, it was just everywhere. I was like, what the frick is going on? Like, the only reason I knew of Marina was because of Deji because they, I think they did a video together before she did all that uh, that weird, that weird video stuff. I don't even know, but I was like, um, what is happening? And I also think that Deji reacted to her, to that video or something like that, or or I watched somebody who reacted to it. I don't remember exactly how I how I knew of it, but I knew of it. <laughs> and also another reason I remember it very very well in my brain is because <laughs> it was when the boys were playing GTA and. Uh, JJ had just released FWB, that song that came out in 2016, same as when his movie Late in America came out. Um, <laughs> they're, 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 they're doing the GTA race and, um, they're, they're talking about FWB. So, um, I don't remember exactly what the context was, but then Ethan was like, oh, you should have had an FWB. <laughs> That they that they're like, oh Marina Joyce should have been an FWB instead of whoever you had. And oh my god, it was like a big meme thing in the in the Simon community. And I thought it was freaking hilarious. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um I, like I said, I knew some of them, I didn't know all of them, so yeah. Other than that, 
did you guys know a lot of these or did you did, how many did you know like i said i think i knew i think in total like three or four out of these ten so it's like yeah uh so yeah how many did how many did you know let me know in the comments below and i'll see all you beautiful wonderful people in the next video all right <laughs> bye